Hello there folks, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome as usual back to What's For Tea. I hope you are having a good day and enjoying this glorious sunshine. So in honour of that I decided to do these Scottish pineapple tarts or a, you know they're also known as bump tarts. Now I thought these were an exclusively Scottish things but you know it turns out they are available in other places as well but unbelievably when I was doing my research there are no recipes for these on YouTube. So I think I'm going to be the first, which is absolutely incredible to me because these are so popular and you'll find these in every bakery up and down the country as well as supermarkets. They are so easy to make and I'm going to be using ready-made uh, puff pastry, sorry, short crust pastry and also the synthetic cream. So half of the work is already done for me. But if you're any good at pastry, feel free to do your own. But uh, you can use double cream, you know, but to keep it, you know, authentic I am going to be using that sticky a sort of almost plasticky synthetic cream which you will find you know in the bakers here you will never find these made with fresh cream so that's why I am using synthetic cream I'll leave a link to where I bought this underneath the video in the description box just in case you want to keep it authentic as well so the first thing we want to do is roll out the pastry very easy, just roll it out and then I'm also going to be using these wee aluminium cases. You can get these in, you know, all sorts of different places. They're quite easy to find, but you don't have to use these. You can just pop your pastry straight into a cupcake tin. So whatever you end up using, you will want to cut out your pastry. Just make sure that your cutter is slightly larger than, you know, the tops of the tins that you're using. Just so that they come up the sides just like this. It's really easy. So pop those to the side for the time being. And then you want to prick the bases with your fork just in random places so they don't puff, puff up when they bake. And I'm going to use some cupcake cases just to blind bake these in the oven. Pop something in your cases just to weight them down because like I said, you don't want these puffing up as they bake. You want plenty of room in there for your filling. So whack these into the oven for between 15 and 20 minutes on 180C or Gas Mark 4, just until they're starting to go golden on the top. Once they're just starting to go slightly golden on the top, take out your baking beans or your rice or whatever you've decided to use to weight those cases down and just pop those to the side. You can obviously use these again if you, you know, plan on making more of these in the future. And then you'll want to put your cases back into the oven for another five to ten minutes just until they're fully cooked. And these ones were perfect. You don't want too much colour on these because they are traditionally quite pale, but just make sure that your pastry is fully cooked like these are. So let those cool down for five or ten minutes before you put your fillings in. And then your next your next step is just to pop your jam in. Again, don't put too much jam in because, you know, you want plenty of room in there for the cream. So I would say a teaspoon is more than enough. And then you want to go in with your cream. And I'm just using this tiny wee scoop here, but you could use a spoon if you don't have something like this. But whatever you use, make sure you leave room around the outside of your cream for your icing to pull you know, so that it can get down in there because you don't want to put your icing on and it's just all going to dribble over the edge. So just make sure there's a wee bit of a gap all the way around your cream. And I found that wee scoop really handy. You can get them on Amazon. They're really cheap. The last thing we're going to do is the icing. Again, super simple. Pop your icing sugar in, enough water to bring it to a nice consistency. Now, you don't want it too runny. You don't want it too thick either. A just pouring consistency, I would say, because you don't want it, like I said, running all over the place. And then pop in a wee touch of gel colour. I'm just using the Wilton gel colour because you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. Don't forget, you can obviously build your colour up to the, the colour you want, but you can't take it away. So I would say start very small. And this is ideal. Like I said, you want to be able to, you know, spoon it on the top and for it to run down slowly. And you'll see in a wee second. I actually doubled up in my cream. Mr. What's for Tea said they're not, there's not enough cream in them. So I actually done a second scoop, just exactly the same as the first one on the, you know, the one in the bottom. So there's your icing. Like I said, just use a teaspoon. Go slowly because this will reach the bottom. Gravity will do its thing and it will reach the bottom. So don't be fooled into thinking you need to heap this on or you'll end up with a mess <laughs> and it will run everywhere. So make sure your icing is nice and thick but pourable. 
and I'm just using a wee spoon like I said and this is ideal. Now you'll want to let these set before you eat them. You can pop them into the fridge if you like but they don't need to be refrigerated and obviously if you use what I'm using is the synthetic cream you don't need to refrigerate them at all but if you're using fresh cream obviously you'll need to refrigerate them if you're planning on keeping them for any length of time and this is what they look this is what they look like inside and like I said in the beginning it's all about the cream in this so yeah absolutely fantastic really really sweet these so I'm not the biggest fan of these kinds of things but yeah they are so popular and I suppose popular for a good reason because so many people like them but before I move on I just wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well because there's been a few of you in the last couple of weeks and I've now just got round to updating my pages so hopefully your name will be there now for those of you who have emailed to say my name isn't on your wee list so hopefully it's there now so thank you all very much for watching and the continued support and I do get people as well saying oh I wish I could support you on Patreon or be a channel member but honestly don't worry about that if you're here and you're watching my wee videos and you're leaving a comment or even a, leaving a like on the video that is support enough you know I really do appreciate everything that you do and for those who share the videos as well yeah it just means ever so much I'm just chuffed that you're here watching in the first place so I'll catch up with you during the week and have yourself a wonderful rest of your week and bye for now bye now